Red Buttons was an American actor who was good at playing different kinds of roles in movies, TV, and plays. He became well known in the middle of the 20th century and won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his part in the movie Sayonara. Besides acting, Buttons was also known for being funny and for helping others through his charity work. He made a big impact on people with his memorable performances and left a lasting impression in the entertainment world. Share your favorite memories or stories about this classic actor in the comments below. Look out for interesting facts about him in this video. In the world of entertainment, Red Buttons was a significant figure. He was born in the early 19s and entered showbiz with great enthusiasm. Quickly, he gained fame for his acting skills across both movies and TV. He had a talent for captivating audiences with his performances, bringing characters to life with authenticity and charm. Whether he was in a comedy or a serious role, he showed great skill as an actor. His presence on screen was strong, and his work left a lasting impression on viewers. Besides acting, he was also known for his charitable work, using his fame to support various causes. In summary, Red Buttons was a notable figure in entertainment. His talent, versatility, and dedication made him beloved by many. In the movie Hatari, Red Buttons portrayed a character named Pockets. One evening, he and John Wayne, his co-star, were playing cards outdoors when they noticed a leopard approaching them from the bushes. When Buttons alerted Wayne about the leopard, Wayne casually responded, see what he wants. In The Longest Day, Red Buttons took on the role of PVT, John Steele. Despite his portrayal of a paratrooper in the film, some deemed him too old for the part. His biography can be found in Who's Who in Comedy by Ronald L. Smith. The book provides insights into his life and career on pages 8081. It was published in New York by Facts on File in 1992. In The Longest Day, Red Buttons played PVT, John Steele. He got the role unexpectedly after meeting producer Daryl F. Zanuck in a Paris cafe. This chance encounter led to him joining the film without any fancy negotiations or auditions. In Hatari, Buttons portrayed the character Pockets. The story humorously showed Brandy's sudden romantic interest in him, adding a sweet touch to the plot. Interestingly, Mitchell Gerardin, age 24, found herself romantically involved with him, despite him being 43 and 4 inches shorter. In The Poseidon Adventure, Buttons played Martin, after the movie, several cast members, including Ernest Borgnine, Carol Lindley, Roddy McDowell, Stella Stevens, Shelley Winters, Pamela Sue Martin, Bob Hastings, and Leslie Nielsen, appeared in different episodes of The Love Boat. This connection highlights the post-movie careers of the ensemble cast. These instances show Red Button's diverse roles in various films and the connections within the entertainment industry that followed. Accompanied by his wife, Alicia, Red Buttons proudly welcomed his children, Adam and Amy, into the world. He received the Israel Cultural Award for his notable contributions and is honored annually through a fellowship by the Israel Cancer Research Fund. He's shown in two timeless classics, Sayonara and The Longest Day, both nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars. His work in the entertainment industry continues to be cherished, leaving a lasting impression on many hearts. This tribute celebrates his achievements across generations. Red Buttons took on the role of Martin in The Poseidon Adventure, a film widely known for its intense drama. Interestingly, he attended the premiere of the movie's 2006 remake Poseidon just two months before his passing in July of that year. His presence at the premiere allowed him to witness and comment on the modern take on the story he was once a part of. In another memorable role, he appeared as an MP sergeant in 123, a film directed and written by Billy Wilder. The movie is noted for a humorous exchange where his character, speaking to a German secretary, makes a joke involving the word glockenspiel, humorously referring to a woman's breasts. This joke mirrored a similar line from Stalag 17, indicating Wilder's fondness for this type of humor. He also stood out for his portrayal of PVT. John Steele in The Longest Day, a film notable for its star-studded cast. Alongside him, the movie featured six Academy Award winners and 11 nominees, making it a significant piece in cinematic history for bringing together such a group of esteemed actors. His participation in this film highlighted his ability to share the screen with some of the most respected figures in the film industry. Through these roles, he demonstrated skill and adaptability as an actor, contributing to memorable moments in film history. His performances left a lasting impression on audiences and showcased talent in a variety of cinematic contexts. Red Buttons, 
famous for his role as Martin in The Poseidon Adventure, appeared alongside other actors who later starred in various DC Comics productions. Roddy McDowell and Shelley Winters, who played supervillains on the 1966 Batman TV series, were among them. McDowell portrayed the bookworm, while Winters took on the role of Ma Parker. Additionally, Red Buttons and Stella Stevens made appearances on the new original Wonder Woman. Gene Hackman, another member of the cast, played Lex Luthor in multiple Superman movies. In the movie Sayonara, Red Buttons played Joe Kelly and won the Best Supporting Actor Oscar. This was one of the few times a film received recognition for both Best Supporting Actor and Actress as Miyoshi Yumeki also won an award. Red Buttons got his stage name while working as a singer-waiter at Dinty Moore's Tavern in the Bronx. He was known for his red hair and ended up being called Red Buttons because of the uniform he wore, which had 48 buttons on it. Overall, Red Buttons' journey in the entertainment industry is marked by interesting connections and memorable performances. Red Buttons was a versatile individual with talents extending beyond acting. He excelled not only as an actor, but also as a composer, comedian, and author. In 1963, he joined a SCFP showcasing his musical skills by creating well-received songs like Strange Things Are Happening and The Ho-Ho Song. His role as Martin in The Poseidon Adventure is memorable. Despite portraying characters in love on screen, Red and Carol Lindley, his co-star, had a tense relationship during filming. Interestingly, they kept their distance off camera but maintained professionalism during scenes. Surprisingly, despite their initial animosity, they later became close friends. Both Carol Lindley and Pamela Sue Martin, part of Reb's final public appearance at the 26th world premiere of Poseidon, shared a bond with him. Red Buttons also made a mark on television, appearing in a show featuring eight Oscar-winning actors and actresses on various episodes. Notable names included Ernest Borgnine, Patricia Neal, Burl Ives, Eileen Heckhart, Louis Gossett Jr., Ralph Bellamy, and Sean Penn. Throughout his career, Red showcased versatility, leaving a lasting impression on the entertainment industry. He will be remembered for his acting, composing, and comedic talents. The influence he had on the industry is undeniable. He will be remembered for his work in The Poseidon Adventure and the TV show with Oscar winners. Red Button's legacy extends beyond acting, reaching into music and comedy, making him a multifaceted artist. Actor Red Buttons, who was part of the Creative Arts Temple in Los Angeles, made a big impression in Hollywood. He played Joe Kelly in Sayonara and won the Best Supporting Actor Oscar for it. This was a significant moment because it was the only category the bridge on the river Kwai didn't win at the 1957 Academy Awards. In his last major movie, The Story of Us, he played Arnie Jordan. This touching film marked the end of his acting career, showing his depth and talent. His contribution to filmmaking is timeless and continues to inspire actors and filmmakers. This look back on his Hollywood journey shows how powerful storytelling can be in any form.